Hi Capricorn, this is Just with your June 13th, 2020 weekly read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. Uh, so Capricorn, I'm telling you now, if you have an event, some place to go, some place to get to, you may have no control over the issues with your car. Some of you have car issues or you will, it won't, it will not be under your control or maybe you're relying on someone to come and fix it and they're a no show but it's going to be out of their control as well and you may have to postpone or delay um, going like you're either late or you can't get get there um, or you have to postpone it for another time if you can hmm. so again you're going to be there's going to be some car issues that kind of get out of hand is what it looks like to me um, this coming week so if you can prepare ahead of time and you already know you're having issues with your car, try to do that. Your, your reading is screaming issues with another person. I mean, it's crying issues with another person um, and kind of all hell breaking loose. And no, someone isn't going to be forgiven. <laughs> we'll get into that in a minute. Career, though, looks really good. Your career life looks pretty solid. Um there could be, I just see collaborations, partnerships of some sort, or getting rewarded and, and getting a lot of attention for the work that you do. But you guys have some type of an aim, goal, or a plan to come out on the other side of it triumphant. Um, you definitely want to win the battle and the war. And I feel for some of you, you may have the opportunity. You look really solid when it comes to career and finances. Well, I'll say career. Uh, which begets finances, but I don't see a, a whole lot of money on the on the car on the board here. But it does, definitely looks like you're in a good place at least right now when it comes to career. And you, like I said, you have plans to move to the next level or to get something out of us out of the situation. Okay, you will follow follow the rules and regulations. You'll do things to the letter, knowing that this is going to get you where you want to be somebody supervisor or person of authority could be toppling they could be losing control out of control and you may see uh, i just keep especially capricorn men you may see a way in you can infiltrate a scene is what it looks like to me um and you'll know exactly when to do it so i just get being able to get the upper hand on something but it will be at a very precise time for some of you you're in the planning stages other others of you you will be acting and for some of you in a very mundane sense you're just having a you know a pretty good um, work week your business may be doing good um you are able to avoid any pitfalls or, or issues um from learning from your past and you may feel stronger and more secure than ever when it comes to career and finances for the Capricorns that I'm reading for. So if you've been feeling a little, a little bit out of sorts, like you're losing yourself or you're losing control, there will be some good news or positive events that'll happen um, that at first you or someone else may be at a stalemate of like, how do we move forward? Should we completely do this? But then things start to take off. So you will find that the rest of this month may be really fast. And things are going to be have, happening at a rapid pace. And I don't feel like people have much um, competition against you. You're quick. You know how to defend yourself. You know how to communicate. You know, like you're, everything is happening and almost seems in your favor. Um, this isn't the most out, uh, outstanding reading I've done for you guys before, but it definitely is far better. And I'm getting every, well, not everyone. I've just did another reading and they had the same thing where presently it doesn't feel so great, but this week coming up and, and possibly the week to follow will be far more positive results and people, um, getting along if that makes any sense. So that's pretty good. And let's talk about right now. <sighs> You're not getting along with someone at all. And they may be giving you, um, like, they don't they don't care anyway. They could care less if <laughs> you guys are speaking, if you accept their apology. You know, it's like one thing made a domino effect. You didn't answer the phone. You didn't text. You didn't, like, someone didn't respond the way that the other person wanted them to. And now all hell has broken loose. Uh, and it's underneath the surface. So this may have, this may not have come out yet. Or it 
or it's just now. For some of you, it's just now coming out. It has come out. Uh, but if it's happening to you, Capricorn, this person may think they've gotten the best of you, but they're going to realize that they have not. You're going to work this in your favor. So whoever's coming at you, um, it's still going to work in your favor. Home life, there's a major decision to be made. There's a partnership here. If there's other people in your house, I feel like you're not dealing with whatever issue it is here. You're not. Somebody could have did something really stupid. And now they don't want to admit it. They don't want to accept it. They don't want to talk about it. They want to act like it never happened. What? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, so be careful. Money also could be flying out the door. So be careful with that because people are making foolish decisions. This is not all you Capricorns. It's people around you or people that are living in your home. So you guys aren't typically the ones that's going to allow people to um, get in your head and control you. Um, so it could be you cutting off money as well. Uh, from people who always has their hand out is what it looks like. But just be careful that you're not rushing into anything with home, real estate, or anything like that. You may look back and say, damn, I shouldn't have bought in this time. I shouldn't have did that in this time. That sort of thing is what it looks like. I feel like someone wants to free themselves from a living arrangement. They haven't said anything just yet. Just yet. <laughs> but it looks like somebody's going to be leaving that damn house. Somebody's leaving this house. If they haven't already, they're leaving this house, okay? <sighs> mm hmm Oh. So let's get into love. Because I'm just pulling more cards to see what is this leaving all about. Capricorn singles. Um... You're coming of course mean. I was saying the same thing as Sag with to Sagittarius. You're coming of course a little bit mean, nasty. You could have said some really nasty things to people, or you're holding back, not communicating at all, which which is a lot of people don't like if you're playing silent. Um, I feel like you're not feeling the dating scene if you're putting yourself out there. You may still be stung from a past relationship that seems to be prominent in readings too right now. And you just don't want to be bothered. But it's like, even though you may not want to be bothered, someone could have come out of nowhere. Like, bam, um, a chance meeting with someone and you didn't expect it. And this person may have knocked, they may knock you off your feet. And you may um, want to go out and spend some time with them after kind of not being sure, you know, going into next weekend, you may accept um, an offer to go on a date with someone or you may start, you know, a conversation and start um, getting to know someone is what it looks like to me. Be careful because whoever you're attracting, they're on the prowl big time, heavy, they're on the prowl. And you'll be, you'll know real clear um, that this person has a wife that's waiting home for them. Um, or if you entertain this too long enough to be in a relationship with them, you'll be the home, the person at home by the phone waiting for them because they're a player. Um, some of you may have gotten stung by one. Be careful because you may get yourself caught up in that again. So I want to say this is the best time to get out there and take people serious. It will be a good time to get out and have a little, a little bit of fun and definitely be a good time to um, communicate and talk to people digitally over the airwaves it could be somebody from a distance that you could get to know but i would take everything with a grain of salt just enjoy yourself don't take anything too heavy it doesn't look like you're going to um but you may be tired of this you're tired of you know these fair weather people you want something more you want something real you want you know honesty you didn't see that happening this week mm -mm. I see people that are just available to have a good time. That's what they want to do. They want to have a good time. They don't want anything too heavy. Um, if your words are too strong, you're going to shut them down. Like they're going to shut down because they're not going to know where it's coming from. You're going to be in meeting a lot of sensitive people and people who are there to just basically get what they want out of the situation. So, <laughs> and with you, with all of this strong energy, um, you may intimidate the sensitive people. You may... Um, create conflict with people that are just like you and um, you may run the risk of wasting your time with someone who's a very in and out energy so just be careful with that now Capricorn couples 
who's lying? Who's lying? Who's not being honest? The same thing, right? Um, mm -hmm. Somebody's not being honest. Somebody's not ready to have the conversation, to communicate, to be truthful. <laughs> Am I seeing here someone is not in love with the other person? Hmm? Or you just may not be getting along with each other. Well, I see why. Because uh, you can't juggle two people. <laughs> not forever. And someone juggling. Mm -hmm. Someone's juggling. Um, someone may claim, yeah, it's over. I'm not, you know, and, but it's not true. And I feel like your main person, the person that you're really in a relationship, they're not buying this. They're not buying it. They know exactly what the hell is going on here. They know. They know. Now, this could be you. This could be vice versa. We know that. But whoever's out there cheating, the person that's getting cheated on, they know. They're very aware of what's going on here. Um, and I feel like whoever's cheating, it's so blatant. And <laughs> there is no tact. There's this blatant lying or just omitting truths. There's just, you, I mean, it's just so blatant. It's just so blatant. And what's sad about the situation is that I don't think um, wait a minute, I want to see something here. Hold on, guys. Well, I see attraction. Okay, I see that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, here's the thing. Somebody is attracted to another person. They've been seeing this person for a while. It could be on and off, on and off. They have a lot of physical attraction to this person. Um, and But they're also, I feel like their emotions are creeping up. It's starting to develop for this person too, slowly but surely. But they could claim like, oh, it's my friend. It's my coworker. It's just, like, it's nothing. Meanwhile, um, they can't wait to communicate. They can't wait till they see this person. They can't wait till they get next to this person. And this person's a very patient person. They sit on the sidelines. They don't say anything. They just let them take the lead. And now, okay, that's the person that's cheating. The person that's getting cheated on is just like their person. They're very aggressive. They don't play. They don't take no crap from anyone. They will scope it out. They will confront the situation. <laughs> so the other person is very different from, from that person. I hope you guys are keeping up. And this cheater can't wait, like I said, to communicate with the person to see the person that they're cheating with, even though they've tried to make it seem like, oh, no, I'm not seeing this person or it's not anything. Trust me, it's not anything. Instead of being honest and saying, you know, I'm falling out of love with you. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Um, and they can claim we're not having sex anymore. You're not paying me no, any attention because I'm getting that too. Not being paid any attention, probably not having any sex or someone's just really pissed and mad. And when they do, they can get violent. They can get very angry. Anything is possible, which can turn someone off. That's not an excuse to go ill ass out there and cheat. <laughs> you have to communicate, right? So someone probably, you know, someone probably communicated. Someone probably at one point was honest, but there's no honesty going on now. It's a whole lot of um, trying to manipulate and massage someone and try to make them believe everything is okay. No, we're going to work this out. Everything is okay. Now. I see someone getting kicked out or they're going, there's going to be like um, probably downtime between the two, the couple. And this person is going to take the time to reach out to that, that person they're cheating with, but another person too, not just that person, <laughs> the whole other person too. So they just cheat. They're cheating at this point. Um, and they're, instead of trying to repair or trying to take time for themselves to try to figure out who do you want to be with, you know, should you be with someone like what's going on? They're like going to be with one person. The cheater is going to be with their um, side person and trying to text you or trying to text, it could be you Capricorn trying to text your person, Right. So it's like trying to text the other person is what it looks like. I know it sounds confusing. I hope that you guys can keep up with this. Basically, a cheater is out there cheating. You guys may take a break. Instead of them being home or just, you know, being to themselves, try to figure out how can you make it work? How can you make it better? They're cheating more while they're still trying to get back with you is what it looks like to me. Um, 
And I feel that that um let's see. As I was telling well, Sasha is not this, this lack of some intimacy and just a, a non a natural connection that the two of you once shared. Um, someone's being treated unfairly and wrong. There will be an trying to recover this relationship, definitely. Um, but somebody is getting stronger in their independence and not care. I just get a lot of not caring. So someone doesn't even care. Maybe they've been treat, cheated on so much they're numb now. <laughs> That's horrible. Um, and it, it looks like this relation, I don't see a breakup right now. Um, but also things are not being addressed and, and, ha and taken care of and the work is not being put in there. And there's still a lot of secrets that's being kept. Ugh, it's a lot. Um, so in the extent that we're going to look deeper into this relationship, um, how do they feel about you? What do they want to tell you the downside? What secrets are they keeping? Um, what is the rest of it? How do they feel about the relationship? What will their actions be? We're also going to do Aries to Pisces. How do they feel about you? Also, um, I do kind of like this, this different spin on the reading. So if you're interested in, in it, click the link in the description box below. It explains everything that we go through. If you want to share, do so in the comment section below. If you want something personal, personal reading, click the link to my website. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Capricorn.